This is Crystal Buckner with Buckner Crest Exotics, bringing you a video on how I get a quarantine tub set up. I am getting a beautiful baby boa. She is a Ferrari Pestel uh, Hypo uh, BCI. And this is probably the youngest snake I've ever gotten. When she comes in, the first thing I am going to do is check her chin. There's a fold on the bottom of their chin and mites like to hang out in there and check the inside of her mouth. Uh, after that, when, when she comes home, I also like to do a little quick 15 minute soak because sometimes if they have um, external parasites on their body, it'll come out in the water. Now, I've never used this before. Kills mites on reptiles. Um, I think I'm gonna soak her first and just put her in quarantine. Um, I really don't want to put chemicals on such a young animal, so I may hold off on this. And I've never used this product before, so if you have and it's good, let me know. If you know this is bad, let me know so I can toss it. Uh, I went through some of my supplies to see what I will be needing. So she was born at the end of March, so she's relatively small. So I'm getting her set up for the first month in a 12 quart. Uh, I will be putting a heat mat underneath. But that first month, I keep them on paper towel. And the reason for that, when they come in, most reptiles defecate in their deli cup or in the bag that they come in. I don't really, I don't use that as a, a marker because that is kind of stress induced when they defecate during travel. Um, so it may get loose, it may be a little bit watery, but things that you want to look for when they do come in that is maybe a little bit of a red flag is if there's blood, unnecessary, you know, yellowish green mucus, um, stuff like that. So what I like to do is the very first week, I know she was fed yesterday. So I won't be feeding her until a week from today. But I still want to keep track of urination. Um, if she does have a bowel movement, I want to see that. So I want to get a few good meals in her and a few, you know, watch her digestive processes before I put her on any kind of other substrate. I really want to take a good look at that. And also with the white paper towel, if there was any uh, mites that I didn't notice in the in her first soak, I should be able to see it in here. So with that out of the way, I picked up two little hives. Um, I like to use these for my leopard geckos when I first get them in, but I'm not using that for my snake. <laughs> There's no room. And with being on the paper towel, she's still gonna be shedding. So I want a little bit of abrasive. So a nice little wood hide. I want her to feel comfortable. So this works perfect. And with these things, you really wanna make sure you pull off these um, staples. I got the other one, but it's kinda hard to do it one-handed. So I will be removing that and giving this a good shake. You can do cork bark rounds, anything that's going to make them feel safe in the sterile environment. Now with water dishes, I have three options here for an animal her size. I think this is going to be a little too big. It's too tall and it takes up way too room, too much room. Um, sometimes I use deli cups, but not for an animal this small. Um, I think this may be a little too small. I use these for my baby blue tongue skinks. And boas, they like to soak. So as small as this is, um, I don't think I'm gonna be using this one. This, it's not really ideal, but it is a shallow dish. She'll be able to get in and out of there. She'll be able to drink just fine. Um, she'll still have room to thermoregulate. I don't have two hides in here. Um, it's just not a big enough container. 
but she's going to be set up in a quiet room completely away from everything so that is how I will be setting this up now people do sometimes put in some greenery I am not I have heard some horror stories of snakes swallowing these um, swallowing the paper towel so I'm gonna keep it this is how I'm gonna keep it the first month and then slowly I can add some more enrichment uh, larger container um, probably Aspen for her substrate but for now this is what this is gonna look like I'm going to be using a heat mat. Um, I've used these for years with my reptiles, and I've had absolutely no problem with them. It's just a seedling mat, a small one. But I always hook it up to a thermostat. Always, always, always. I've never had issues with them. Um, but a thermostat, it's better safe than sorry. And these ones are really easy. You just go to set, adjust your settings, it has a probe. What is that? Yeah, these these have a probe with it. So that is what I will do. And that is what her first month is going to look like. And I'll do a video of bringing her home and getting her set up in her quarantine tub. But I wanted to share that with you guys. Quarantining your animals is extremely important. Some other things you need are vets on hand. It's always good to take an animal to the vet when you first get them. Um, your vet may even say, hey, you can bring in stool samples. Again, I wouldn't use what was in the bag unless you see external or you see internal parasites right off the go. Um, that first feeding that you give them, go ahead and take a baggie, grab your fresh poop and take it into the vet to get it checked. Um, I also, some pointers. Oops, when you get your animal for the first time, after soaking it, I put the animal in their tub and I leave them alone for a good week. I want them to get acclimated to their new environment which is already stressful I do that I get a good feeding into them a week later and then I slowly start introducing myself to them for small periods of time nothing longer than maybe five ten minutes and then work my way up to 15 minutes and so forth and so on but if you have any questions about anything I am always available through Instagram at Buckner Crest Exotics and that's my dog. I look forward to making some more videos and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.